Hello everyone and welcome to another reputized video. <laughs> Kill Bill Volume 2 once again stars Uma Thurman and is directed by Quentin Tarantino. This one picks up right where Volume 1 left off with the bride still continuing her path to revenge of a hit list that she made of all the assassins that has portrayed her. Now this one, unlike the first one, takes a different approach. For most of you who have seen it, this one is more of an origin story. It, it, it's a character built up movie pretty much. The first one was more all about the action and revenge and blood and gore and all that. This one actually builds up the char characters enough for you to actually kind of care for them a little. Especially Uma Thurman's character. So the movie goes on and you know you get all these new characters played by Michael Madsen, Daryl Hannah, which Daryl Hannah showed up once in the first one, but that's it. And you actually get to see Bill. In the first one, he was just a voice. He was like an entity in the background that the other characters would talk about or talk to on the phone. This one, you actually get to see him. Played by the late David Carradine, who died some years ago. His performance was awesome, was good. It was, it was like one of those franchises that... You know, when you get to when you get to what you're looking for, it was actually worth it. The only complaints I have about this one is there was some shots that what well, that went on for a little bit too long. <coughs> She's in a grave and the dirt gets pulled over her and you see black with her panting and the cars driving away. That's all you hear and that's all you see is just a black screen, her panting and breathing. <laughs> that's all you hear for two straight minutes. That might sound like an exaggeration, but that's what it felt like to me. It didn't, leave, it didn't need to go on for that long. But from then on, the movie picks up and you get to find out more of her assassin days and the chemistry between her and Bill. And it, it was actually quite fascinating uh, how, you know, a relationship like that could go from that to how the first one began. It, it, it's, it, it does a total 180, <laughs> pretty much. So, you know, the movie goes on and she just, you know, continues to focus on her revenge. She had a hit list. Uh, she killed him one by one. The movie was well edited, you know, just like the first one, cinematography and the music and all that. Quentin Tarantino's direction was, as always, fantastic. And, of course, just like in the first one, he continued on with those subtitles. You know, chapter, I think it stopped at, like, chapter 5 in the first one, and it went on to chapter 6, starting in this movie. It was a fantastic movie. I don't have that much complaints about it, except for those shots would just last for long periods of time. In the end, it, it was good. Uma Thurman's character was top notch. I'm going to give Kill Bill Volume 2 a B plus. Stay tuned for more reviews coming at you soon. Like, subscribe, and get reputized, yo. Peace and rap out.